Hi everyone, Massimo here from the Blue Root team. And today is the final episode in our Zoho Desk series. Today I'm gonna to talk about some useful tips and tricks, keyboard shortcuts, the best views to use because when you first log into desk there's a ton of views you don't want to look at all tickets you just want to focus on what really matters as always please like comment subscribe we love seeing the comments we answer all of them and also please join my office hours so those are like a personal setting there's a few people in there oftentimes people from youtube just like you you can ask me whatever you want and typically i can answer it if not we can definitely get you an answer offline i'd love to see you there i hope you enjoy the video have a good one All right, so let's get into this. So I'm logged into one department here and there's a few things I wanna go over. So I'm gonna start with views. It can be a little confusing when you first log in. So you can see in the top left, you have all tickets. When you first log in and you look at all your views, this is what you'll see. It'll say all tickets. It'll show you everything that's open or closed or pending. And in other videos, I show you how to customize those statuses, right? So this might work for you, but majority of the time you don't want to see all tickets. For example, if you close one, you probably don't want it in your everyday view. I'm going to talk about how to change that. I'm also going to talk about the different ways of looking at that change. So when you click this drop down, and this is on an individual basis, just so you know. So if you change it to open tickets, your neighbor or your other user will still see all tickets. So each of you are gonna have to change these uh, for yourself, okay? So when I go to open tickets, there's a couple things to note here. One, this will just show everything that's not closed. So typically that's a view people like. Two, when you click on it, you can actually favorite it. And when you favorite it, it'll show up as your first option. It will also, when you click here, it'll show in your starred views. So if you have a few views that you like, by all means, star them or favorite them, and you'll see them that way. So once you have this view, I wanna talk about some other cool features you can do here. So not everyone likes having the view in a list like this. Some people like kind of a more vertical Kanban style. So you can see here in Zoho, they have something called countdown mode. This is really useful if you use the SLAs that we talked about in an earlier video, so due dates. If you have due dates on tickets, this countdown mode will start showing in vertical columns, things that are overdue, things that are due in six hours, 12 hours, etc. And so it shows about three or four columns. So the neat thing here is you can train your staff or yourself to look at all the overdue ones and the ones due in six hours, for example. And then you can triage them accordingly. So a lot of people like this, and keep in mind that if you choose countdown, it's still only taking into account the open tickets. So whatever you set at the view level will roll into the Kanban style. So there's a couple other styles you can do. If you hit this drop down, they also have the status mode. So for example, if I just go into one of these tickets for a second and I change the status to escalated, you'll see here that one is open, one is escalated, right? And so you unfortunately cannot drag and drop these. Uh, that's something that a lot of people have asked us, you, you, you cannot, but this will at least let you start seeing tickets by status. And so if you're a company that's customized your statuses in the earlier video, then you may want an open and a pending and an on hold and your team can look at it this way. The other two options are pretty neat as well. So the next one is priority. If you're a company that works with priorities, it's very similar to the status, right? So if you want to have the highs in one column then the mediums in another column, and this can be mandated either manually, people choose the priority, or via your SLAs that I showed in the earlier video. Again, try to get rid of the highs first, right? The last few, I would say is not as frequently used, but essentially the handshake mode, it's what it'll do is it'll show tickets that are associated to a contact or a lead inside of your CRM. So the idea behind this is if someone's a customer, they should be in your CRM. And if that customer sends a ticket, you want to look at that more favorably or earlier than if they don't, uh, than if someone who is not a customer sends a ticket. And so this depends on the integration with Zoho CRM and I would say use less, but it's a very handy tool. If you have that type of company where if they're a customer, no matter who they are, we want to answer them faster than if they're a net new or something, that's what this view is used for. And then probably the last one that people really like is similar to what I showed at the beginning. This is classic, compact, so it just shrinks it. And then this, my personal favorite is the table. The reason I like the table is because you can customize the columns that are in the table. So you can have, it's just like the CRM. So you can have all your own custom columns showing in the table. You can sort it in any way you want. So 
completely up to you. But all of these are at your fingertips. I would encourage you to definitely use open tickets. And if you're a Kanban style, use the Kanban. If you're more of a row and column style, use the table. Two other things, two other major things I want to show in this video. Number one, I'm showing you open tickets, right? By at any point, you can create your own custom view. So when you click add custom view, you can choose who's allowed to see it, all staff or just yourself. You can then put some criteria. So for example, you can say, Maybe you want to view just for high priority. You only want to see the high priority in a table format. So you could go status or you could go priority equals high. And now when you save this view, it's only going to show the high, right? So I'd encourage you to do that. Again, you can share it with other users and you can star it or they can star it and use it every day. So also a couple other things on this page to make it your own. Number one, if you're kind of more in a manager position, I would encourage you to use these views along the left-hand side. So HQ, kind of shows you all the inflow and the outflow. You can toggle based on the last 24 hours, today, last seven days, etc. It's a really good way to see kind of bandwidth. You can also see more bandwidth in the agent queue. Basically what it'll show is it'll show each agent. You can toggle between them and how much they have in their queue. And then feeds is also really handy. So if anyone tags you on something or comments at you in a comment, you'll be able to see it here and you can actually filter it open or all, right? And so th this gives you a quick way to check in on tickets very fast. Lastly, I would encourage you to use this as you get more into desk. There's a ton of keyboard shortcuts. So this is just kind of a neat little nice to know. In the bottom right, you can see this little keyboard shortcut and you can get it by hitting shift question mark. It'll come up as well. This allows you to do all kinds of things. So to go to tickets, you just hit ZT or ZT. If you want to add a ticket, T plus. So go through this when you click on them or hover over them, it shows you how to do it. It's pretty neat. There's also more here, list navigation, detail view, ticket action. So when you're in a ticket, if you hit shift R, it'll reply or shift F and it'll forward. These are massive time savers if you're dealing with hundreds or thousands of tickets a month. As always, thank you for watching the video. Please like and comment and subscribe. And again, join my office hours. If you have questions about this video or any of the other ones, I'm happy to help you. Uh, it's a group setting, but there's usually only a few people. I love to meet our subscribers and thanks for watching.